Okay, here I've got something that looks a bit like a lighthouse. It's actually meant to be an airport control tower. I'm not. I'm not too sure what uh what that's all about. Um, anywho, my stomach is rumbling a little bit. I should probably get some breakfast. I'm going to show you how to texture um, an individual panel. Sorry, not an individual panel. I'm, I'm going to show you how to texture um sort of tapered lines and faces. So first of all, if we position our texture the way we want it, now I've, I want the edges of this glass panel to follow the edges of the window itself. So I'm just going to drag it into place using the pins, and there we are. Now some people would say the easier way to do this is to use the uh, sample tool and just go ahead and select. But as you can see, what that does is that brings the um, tapering of this face onto this face, and because this face is at a slightly different angle, well, it's at the same angle, but it's facing a different direction, the texture wants to stay the same, so it just doesn't line up the way you want it to. There is a way out of this, though. The quickest way that i found so far would be to just get rid of it. Join that line back up there like that, and the texture the face itself. You get rid of the rest of the lines. You can now go nuts with this. Just draw a line straight across the main surface. Now because that face is textured, all we've got to do now is pretty much copy and paste it. So we're going to use the rotate tool. Now click once, and before you click the second time, press control, and then click. And then, if it likes you, <laughs> There we go. You should be able to start moving it around. Go to the end point. And just keep going with that until you've created the same shape that you want. Remember to hold down control when you're doing this. Well, not hold down control, but remember to click control before you use your final click. So you click once for the center, control, then click and move. Now for the last bit. There we go. And as you can see, it's all the same texture. I can now give the roof back, like that, and continue on with what I was doing. Not the greatest tutorial in the world, but something handy to know. Remember to comment and subscribe if you have any questions or request a tutorial, go right ahead, I'll be happy to reply.